we're gonna walk inside of this restaurant. Fogo de Chao. And you can see, even though it's probably about 76, 77 degrees right now, they still have fires blaring here. Delicious, very delicious. Fogo de Chao, highly recommended for a lot of the area. Champion bully in the building. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Now, have you guys eaten here before? First time. First time, and what do you think? Yeah, amazing. Yeah. It's good yeah, stuff, five, isn't five, it? Yeah, look at the venue. Five. Look at the location. You got, you got fire going here. You got two beautiful women, the two beautiful weds. men. Newlyweds. Newlyweds. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We have newlyweds here. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's fantastic. Well, listen, guys. Uh, I'm far from a newlywed, but I've been through it before, and I will tell you, it's 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 wonderful. It's fantastic. <laughs> If you meet the right person, then you did the right thing. So God bless you guys. Congratulations and enjoy your Thank meal. You. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Cheers. You. Who do we got here? Are you guys newlyweds? No. No, no that's okay. How's the, how's the food? How is everything? It's good. You like it, huh? Are you guys locals? Uh, we're from Indianapolis. Oh, yeah, Indiana. Look at that. Hey, Bob. So Bob from Indiana is watching right now. I'm on YouTube. We have 50 people watching. It's going to grow as we go. I just turned on, but... Um, go Hoosiers. Go Hoosiers. Go Hoosiers. So what's the attraction to Florida from folks from Indiana? Uh, I'm from here. She's from here. Oh, you guys are from here. Yeah, we so he's the only Indiana guy? Yep. Oh, well, okay. Born and raised. Well, you know what? That's a good thing. Midwest, good people. And um, you're here now, so... What drew you, other than these two beautiful ladies, to South Florida? Uh, well, they came down for a wedding, so I was just like the third leg. So was... Another wedding? <laughs> yeah. It has nothing to do with these guys, does it? Uh, wow! We got one. Okay, you guys need to celebrate together. Well, I'm going to get out of your hair, but what so far has been the best thing that you guys have had? Oh, what meat was it? The prime. Prime rib, probably. Prime rib? Yeah. Can't beat that. You know about Rodigio? This is a Brazilian restaurant. Fogo de Chao. Wonderful spot. Great location. Guys, I don't know how well this is going to do. Please use the other door. Okay, got to go this way. I don't know how well this is going to do with regard to the signal, but I'm going to try it. It looked like it was okay when I tested it. So let's go in and, and see. Look at this bar, guys. I'm in downtown Fort Lauderdale, right off Las Olas Boulevard. Chris is always busting my balls, and that's okay. He can get away with that. Woo! Time to love. Tom Cruise, eat your heart you out, baby. What do you want? What's your secret? What's my secret? Yeah. I'm just. I'm him. I'm him. Dude, yeah, you're him. I'm you're him. him. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Nicole, oh how I envy you, Las Olas is my number one place I want to see in December when I visit, currently in Tallahassee, for the next year, oh, well you know what, Tallahassee cool place too, I mean, 
every place is different. This is different, but it'll just give you something that much more to look forward to when you get here. So, I have permission to do this. So let's check it out. They have a Christmas tree here already. Look at this guy. Okay, we're gonna have to do one of those. First, we're gonna have to try something. Nothing like it. Well, here's where the magic happens, right back here. What's up, guys? This is incredible. Hey, who wants to take the camera and show everybody? Go ahead. I, sp I spoke tomorrow. He's cool. Go ahead. There you go. All right. Hey, guys. Who is it, buddy? Get you now. I gotta get you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Are you from Brazil? Yeah. I'm from Turkish, but you're from Turkey. Yeah, Brazil in my heart. <laughs> That's okay. You got Brazil in your heart. I love it. I love it. That looks beautiful. Well, look at this. That's the Rhodesia. What do we got here? Yeah, I have a chicken. chicken. So these are chicken kebabs. Yeah. Chica kebab, yeah, exactly. Brazilian style rodizio. Yeah, rodizio. So what happens? Tell me about that. They bring the food, they just keep bringing it. It doesn't stop. Yeah, look at that. It's amazing, you know? Wow. What, what makes the food taste so good? What is it? Is it the process? Yeah, the process and uh, have a deep fryer and top of the on the top one. Check it out and then coaching Wow, lamb chop and chicken leg. Wow, that is beautiful. How much, how much meat do you guys cook on a given night? How much? Wow, it's, uh, it's about 10, 15. It's different. Uh, Just depends. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Can I walk back there? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You gotta ask. Look at this. Wow, it's a little hot back here, guys. They came right now. It's a little warm. Yeah. You guys don't need to go to the beach for the suntan. You get it right oh, here. Yeah. Incredible. What is in there? What's in the bottom? What is, are those coals? How do you guys do this? So this right here, this is a bag of coal. So usually, if you look down underneath, well, we actually have to get more coal from the storage. These bags, we, we have the charcoal, we'll pour it over right in here. So it's charcoal? Yes, sir. And this is where we'll put the charcoal. It's kind of like a pit, that way, when the other charcoal burns out, we'll take this right here. If you follow me right here. We'll take the coal pusher and we'll spread out the coal even. Wow. 
Now, how long does it take by the time you put a piece of meat on there, on the skewer to cook? About how long? It's pretty it, hot. It actually depends on the piece of meat itself. So if it's for chicken, chicken will take a really long time to cook. So that's why we prioritize cooking the chickens first. All right. But if you're going with like a thicker piece of steak, it can take up to like around like 15, 20 minutes. It really depends on what temperature the depends what you like. guest would like. I like my steak. I like it. I want to see where the jockey was hitting it. You know what I mean? This is fantastic. You guys are back. Guys, they are the professionals. These guys know what they're doing. Where does this meat come from? Do you know? Uh, I manager right from here. the Midwest. Comes yeah, from the Midwest. Yeah, the lamb comes from New Zealand. Yes. And New Zealand. Yeah, the lamb. Wow. Yeah. That's great. where that's where it all happens. Yeah. Look at that. My lenses are melting. Look at this place, guys. Look where I am. Look at this. I am where the action takes place here, where the cooking is happening, where this place that you're seeing behind me that is a party of unbelievable gastronomic proportions is taking place right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, come and enjoy Brazilian cooking at its finest. Thanks, guys. Have fun, guys. Thank you. And congrats. Take I'm care. Oh, you're watching it right now? Subscribe to Are you subscribed? Yeah. Okay, I got three new subscribers here. Look at, what well, actually, seven new subscribers, right? Yeah. All right, guys, have fun. Have fun. Thank you. All right, let's get, let's make our way towards Las Olas Boulevard now, guys. Fogo de Chao is the name of this restaurant. And thank you, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for inviting me in there to show me the inner workings of the restaurant. They were very hospitable and very welcoming. And uh, they actually even offered me to, um, to sample it, but I didn't feel right about that. So maybe next time. Yes, we do have some big buildings here in downtown Fort Lauderdale. And we are about to walk down. Hey guys. Hi. How are you? Oh, we got the light. Oh, careful. What's the matter? I think we're good to go. This place I have yet to go inside of. I've been outside of it, but it's called YOLO. You only live once. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you all the time, life is about the experiences. So let's check out this place called YOLO here on Las Olas Boulevard in Fort Lauderdale. Hi guys. How was the, how was the bar here? It was, it was so good. good. Did you guys eat or did you just we check? Ate. We ate and had drinks. How was it? It was really good. Really? Cause yeah. I've heard different things from different people but you guys what what, what would you should suggest coming here um, what you what you have we had, we had the, the most basic thing ever yeah. we had the tartar and then pasta that's great i love tartar it's though so good yeah okay. you can't go wrong with it and then we just had we just had like margaritas some angel hair pasta too you can't beat it and it's a great location it's, yeah. it's a fun it spot well, why are you leaving where are you going we have people to meet up with. Okay, here and on Las Olas? Yes. Well, have fun, be careful, and be safe, Thank okay? You. Christmas decorations among the trees. Look at 
with these folks sitting out here and just enjoying an evening of fun. What do you think about EDC in Orlando? 300,000 people attending this year. It's over tomorrow? Well, I must have missed that one. You know what? I was looking at the um, the Burning Man. I'm just understanding what that's all about. The Burning Man out west, I guess, where is that, in Arizona? And, um, you know, there's a lot of celebrations, a lot, a lot of festivals and festivities going on around the entire world. And I'd like to participate and experience all of them. This is like the burning bush here. Look at this thing. Thank you, Carrie. Carrie said it. Hi, Barefoot. I love your videos. I really appreciate that. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, anyone that's new to the channel. Welcome, everyone that's old in the channel. I appreciate it. Yes, it's Saturday night. Hi, o OTJ. What's going on? We're looking for a place to stay along La Sola Strip. Anyone have a nice place to recommend yeah you know I mean we're gonna we're gonna walk and and look at all of that so bear with me as I walk and check it out but um I want to show you guys this place here's a Rolls Royce you'll see a lot of these types of vehicles here a lot of money in this area this is a lounge over here guys we're gonna check you know me by now. We're gonna check this all out. Let's go. There's nobody in here. Everybody's outside. But this is a cool place. Hi. Can you tell me what this is? Is this part of YOLO? So. What is this? This is this is like the bar? This is, yeah, well, it's a separate lounge, and eventually there'll be a bunch of people so, here. So, like when people are done eating, everybody's gonna meander over yeah. here. Yeah, it's usually a later start, and they will go through. Uh, it's a little early right now, but we're yeah. just checking it out. Yeah. I appreciate that. I'm gonna show them the bar. Thank All you. Right. Okay, so this is part of YOLO, guys, and we're early right now, and I know the copyright's gonna get me for this, but I'll deal with that later. But here's the bar. And um, this is where everyone will ultimately end up. And look at the... Uh... Look at the colors. Look at the lights. Look how awesome this is. This is the guy you didn't get, right? This guy? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why? What's up with him? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. Well, he's a YouTube yeah. famous now, but he's yeah. famous. Yeah, yeah. Why? Well, what's his story? His story is like, uh, what are you doing, a new man? What uh, are you doing? Uh, oh, he's all camera uh, shining. What? Listen, listen, listen. He's gonna get you. Wait, what is this? What is He's this? YouTube videos. We've got 117 people watching you right now, Lizette. Oh, great, 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 great. My seat tail. <laughs> My seat tail. Okay, made a pucci pluma. Okay, pucci. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, let me show them. Okay, guys, this is YOLO. We got permission to walk in here. Who's their wine cellar? Pick a good one.
should. Here we go, we got more cooking going on here. Who wants the camera? Hey! Yeah, take it! Yeah! Go ahead! Show it! Ah! No, I got the Yeah. Are you videotaping? Yeah, yeah. Is it too Hey, Woody. What's up, brother? Hey, hey. 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 My man, what's up? Hey, face me, face me. What's up, Woody? Give me some doubt, Woody. Chef Woody in the ring. Get her, get her, get her. Hey, hey, mamita. Que hola. <laughs> Oh, we like, no My bad. My bad. That's my second job, so. No, no, he's Hey, what's up, guys? Oh, hey. You can turn him around if you want. There you what's go. Up, everybody? Now you see him. Now you see I love it. There's a lot of action and activity over there, so you guys should come and check it out. Let's make our way down Las Olas Boulevard. We're going east. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the history of this place so we can enjoy it. Not only are there restaurants and shops and all kinds of stuff here, but there's um, big buildings here. Look, let me show you. I mean, you would think this was Rockefeller Center. Look at that. We continue. We continue our journey. This is Southeast Fifth Avenue and Las Olas Boulevard here, very close to downtown Fort Lauderdale. Hi. Del Frisco's. Guys, when I lived in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, we had a Del Frisco's and I ate there and I loved it. I'm gonna see if they'll let me in there. Be honest with you, I thought that the uh, I thought the Del Frisco's in Charlotte was even nicer than this one, but I don't know. Let's go. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's go. Let's go see if they'll let us show it to you. There's the kitchen. AP, hey, love your videos. Let me get a shout out to Tony P from Philly. All right, Tony P from Philly. Ah, uh, you know what? The Astros might have something to say about that, but I don't care. I'm a Mets fan. Onward and upward. Going eastbound on La Sola. Hold West. on, we got. It's West. It's West. What do we got? Who do we got? Yeah! Woo! Yeah. 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 I'm just following your lead. Where are we going? Where are we going? Yolo. You're going home? No, no Yolo. Yolo. I just Yolo. came from that. I love you guys. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> People at the bar cheating on their spouses. Well, you know what? You don't have to be at the bar to do that. It's all what's in your heart and what's on your mind and what's on your agenda. You can see we had some rain here, guys, but uh, I looked at the Doppler and it said it was going to stop. So I'm like, you know what? I don't care how wet the floor is. And again, we certainly have had our share of rain. And you can see here where they're doing the construction. There's people. You know what? I'm going to follow their lead. Now we got the fucking clients. 
and here we go. This is where you need to be walking, right here. Cheesecake Factory, so this is the main strip, if you will, of, La of Las Olas Boulevard. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the history of Las Olas, because it certainly does have some history. Anybody? Which is kind of funny because there's no waves over here on this side, but if you take this road all the way east, the way it's pointed, the way these folks are walking where I'm going to, you will end up at the waves. You will end up at the end of Las Olas Boulevard on the uh, crossroads of A1A and the beach. And so that's, I guess, where it takes its name from. But you know the elbow room, the world famous elbow room that's been there since the like early 1900s? That is the end point of Las Olas Boulevard is the elbow room, so. This is Cheesecake Factory, guys. Yesenia agrees with me. Thank you. So you'll see this boulevard is lined with trees in the middle and restaurants, cafes, bars, all sorts of uh, art galleries, and a lot of festivities on both sides. What is this? Wild Sea. Can I show them your restaurant? Oh, I'm sorry. Can I show them? How are you, sir? I'm showing them your is this this is the world famous what is it the river riverside hotel right Correct. it's world famous this place it it's, is, yeah. it's got a great history 1932 and so are you guys affiliated with them or is this yeah we're part really? of the hotel. so you're part of the hotel yeah to show them the lobby okay, where are you, who's showing to uh, it's a barefoot vlogger on YouTube. Okay, what is that? It's a, a YouTube channel. 4.5 million views on YouTube. So, uh, YouTube. We're like doing a live stream. We're doing a live stream right now. What's up? Yeah. Is that cool? Beautiful. All right. What's your name? What's your name? Tiago. Tiago, nice to meet you. Right. Thank you, brother. So, guys, this is a Riverside Hotel right here. Guys, let me go outside and show you the front of this place so you know where I'm at. There it is. This is, guys, this is history right here in the making. How about now? It was buffering, I was inside. How about now? Yeah, I get that. I'm outside now. Did I get the signal back, you guys? Let me know if I get signal back. I won't go back in there. But I just wanted to show you this iconic hotel that has so much history to it. Hi, Jose, thank you. It's better, yeah, because I'm outside now, and I apologize for that. But this hotel was built in 1936, guys. And it was formerly known as the Champagne Car Hotel. And the reason they called it that was because the two guys that built it that were brothers, Preston and John Wells, who came down here from Chicago back in those days, um, they hired a guy to manage the hotel, and that was his name, Champ Car. So they named it originally the Champ Car Hotel, and ultimately, eventually, they changed the name to the Riverside Hotel. Uh, it was designed by Francis Abreu, um, the same guy that built the Las Olas Casino. Um, and you can see that it's got a very Spanish and Mediterranean style to it. It almost looks a little bit like uh, 
like a New Orleans type hotel. So, so it's a cool spot. Hi, Heather. Yeah, isn't it cool? So we are making our way down. Whoop. Good evening and welcome. Happy Saturday night. Thank you guys for joining me. This is the Barefoot Blogger. I'm on Las Olas Boulevard here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. This looks like a uh, pizza and pasta restaurant called Gran Forno. And you get a lot of this down here. You get a lot of the sushi joints. There's Spanish. There's Italian. There's all kinds of good fare down here. To be at. And a lot of people that have come here to eat Drink and be buried. So, so join me. We have a live band here, guys. authentic European restaurants, bars, cafes, all lining Las Olas Boulevard here to give you that type of feel. Barefoot knows where the hot spots are, huh? Jose says. Well, you know what? There's a lot of them to be had down here, that's for sure. So, um, you know, I, I, there's there's places that maybe aren't so hot but are still interesting and cool, and I like to bring those to you guys as well. But um, it's been a rough it's been a rough summer and uh, fall with the hurricanes and everything. So I figured let me come out here and show you guys people partying and enjoying an evening after the hurricane passes, having fun, getting out, socializing, and enjoying life. Because guys, I tell you all the time, life is about the experiences. It's not, it's not something I need to teach you because you know that. But sometimes we all need to be reminded of that. And this is an experience right here. Look at this place. What's the here? What's the specialty here? Our specialty is our coconut shrimp and our Mai Tais. Those fly off the shelves every weekday, every weekend. Um, this is honestly the go-to place to have a good time. Have good drinks, meet your friends, enjoy yourselves and relax. This is the number one spot to come to. What's your name, brother? My name is Vlad. Vlad? Yeah, Vlad. Nice here. to meet you. So nice come and see Vlad and have a Mai Tai. Come through. There we go. You guys. Thank you, buddy. All right. South Florida would not be complete without Cuba Libre. And guys, this is a fun, cool place. Look at the bar here. I tried to do a live stream from here, but the signal wasn't cooperating, so it's probably going to give me the same difficulties, but I'm going to go in there and show you guys the bar. So bear with me. Listen. 
if the signal sucks, it's not Barefoot's fault. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Even if it freezes up, I think it'd be cool showing you guys this place. So let's go. show you guys where I am just in case you forgot that's westbound on Las Olas Boulevard so that's downtown Fort Lauderdale those buildings are seen the Bank of America building there that is downtown Fort Lauderdale west of US 1 Las Olas will end on South Andrews Avenue and it will go east all the way that way to the elbow room and A1A and the beach. And you guys have seen me there for many festive moments, including riding my e-bike and uh, checking out the the um, the air shows. So let's, guys, let me walk into this place. I'm walking here. Let me check out this place. All right. I got permission. I always get permission. What did you like about it? I don't know. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was you know, it doesn't matter. You yeah, like it. Paella. 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 That's what, what did I eat? Carlos, what did I eat? You, know, you were asking him what you ate? Yeah, it was so good. It was so good. She doesn't remember. He doesn't remember. Wait, she remembers. So you'll be back. Are you guys locals? I'm going to be. You go. Oh, where do you live now? New York. New York. I'm coming. Where? What? What? We're back next year. Where in New York? Rochester. I'm from I'm from Brighton Beach in Brooklyn. Very nice. Upstate. Nice Very to nice. meet you guys. We'll Thank see you, you here. So okay. We're gonna re reserve a spot for you. Awesome. All right. Did I lie? I'm gonna tell you right now, I hope you can see me because the smell that I'm getting right now, it's one thing. It's one thing and one thing alone, pork. Pork, I love pork and I smell it and it smells amazing. So I'm gonna show you the bar, I'm gonna show you the restaurant, hopefully it will behave itself. Go Yankees, Johnny! What channel are you on, man? That's so good. Richard, what's up, Boca Raton? Sign out Las Olas. Well, you know what, Richard? You asked me about Saturday Night Live? Here we are. It doesn't have to be at the home front. I want to get out and I want to show you guys life here in Florida. So I think this is a lot more entertaining for you all. Cuba Libre restaurant in Las Olas. Cheryl, I wish I lived in Florida right now. You know what, Cheryl, you've been saying that for a while. Get down here. Love your place. This is beautiful. Can I get you one here? What can you tell me about your restaurant, my friend? It's beautiful and it's open air. It looks like people are having fun. I'm talking to people on the way out. They're loving the food. Mm -hmm. What makes you guys stand out from the crowd? Well, I guess the environment, the culture that's behind this place, you know, the, we make you feel like you're in Little Havana. So I that's what that's, it's based on. Yeah. It's based on being in Little Havana. Wow. What, do you have any one specialty here, or what are you guys known for, food-wise? We're known for our specialty on that has a little bit of everything coming off of wood, our wood-burning grill. That steak, the skirt steak, that's chicken breast, that's chorizo, which is spiced sausage, grilled shrimp, and grilled lobster tail. That so sounds amazing. When you hear the sizzle, the plates go off right over here at the wood burning grill. I can hear that sizzle and I can smell it better yet. And it smells amazing. I told these guys from the minute I walked in here, it smelled 
Unbelievable. So what was your name, sir? Kevin. Kevin? Yeah. I'm Terry. It's nice to nice meet you. Meet Barefoot you. Vlogger on YouTube. I'm just going to peruse and show them everything that's going on. Thanks, Kevin. Take the camera. Show them the grill. Show who, who I'm talking to. Show them the grill. Boy, you're all signing on the grill. We got some churrascos, potato gaucho. Thank you. Great job. This is, a bit, this is a Barefoot Vlogger on YouTube. Oh, okay. I'll see you on there. Thank you. Look, guys, everything here about this place is so authentic. Look at the doors. Just the doors alone. This is a restroom. This is a gender neutral restroom. And look, you feel like you're in Mexico when you're here. This is unbelievable. Here's the wood. I'm going to follow you to the table. Go, go, go. Congratulations, happy birthday. This is wonderful. You have all your friends and loved ones with you. What do you have to say to the world? That I'm happy and fortunate, <laughs> and I'm thankful to be alive and to have many more. Absolutely. God bless you. Enjoy it, guys. Thank you. Thank you. What do we got? Oh, another birthday! Yes. Oh! Hey, 39! Wow, look at your cake! Oh my yes. god! light it up and everybody That's sings at the same time. Alright, okay, you're gonna light it up. Okay, ready, everybody guys? gonna sing, you ready? Hold on, guys, don't forget, you gotta sing. Ready? Everybody gotta sing. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you! Puppies out. What? You only got one. Come on. You want me to help you? Yay! Thank you. Happy birthday, guys. Another one. Really? Just get abused like that. Guys, the smells I'm getting in here are so incredible. They're they're pungent. They're sweet and they're sour and they're so amazing. And if you didn't know any better, you would swear you were in Havana here. Look at this place. Look at the bulgamilia hanging over this.
have outside seating here too, guys. Svetlana and I sat here when we ate here. The food was very good. And you can get a good look at the inside from the outside, which is nice. Look at that. Oh, Cheryl's birthday? Guys, Cheryl has been with me from the beginning. Happy birthday, Cheryl. We're all celebrating with you. And as far as I'm concerned, those cakes and candles were for you. Happy birthday. Onward and upward. Gate smasher, nice, and you don't have to swim 90 miles. That's true. Hi, five minutes of nature. Love the neon. Me too. I love neon. We're going to continue walking here, and guys, what I'm going to do is there's two sides to every story. So we're going to we're going to walk this way a little bit more, and then we're going to cross over and uh, catch what we missed on the other side. But this is just an idea of some of the fun things you could do on the weekend. Svetlana and I have come here before and it's like, I mean, you don't even have to eat or drink or do anything. You could, if you wanted to, we do, but you, you could just come here and just walk. And it's very eventful. It's a lot of fun. People are out here having a good time and um, enjoying themselves. So here we go. This is a wine and whiskey coffee bar. I don't know, whenever I think of Piazza, I think of my Piazza, the catch for the Mets.
Look at this billboard here in the middle of the street. Look at this. Speaking of neon, Cool truck, bro. I love it. So they have live music here. This place is called Anne's Florist and Coffee Bar. Yeah, guys, having fun. Having fun. It's a good spot right here. Yeah, yeah. I like it. What do you guys like about it? Um, just the vibe, the ambiance. Yeah. It is. It's great. I, you know what? I've been all up and down here, and I, I don't disagree with you. I think this is a great spot. Are you guys yeah. celebrating anything? Or? Um, just hanging out. Just hanging, just hanging out, out, celebrating yeah. life. Celebrating life. Yeah. I love it. Are you guys from here locally? I'm from here. Yes. You guys know me? You seen me uh, before? I've seen your shirt. <laughs> you know me now. Okay. Well, listen. Enjoy yourselves. Have fun, celebrate life, and be fun. I always say life is all about the experiences. I agree. What do you say? Same thing you say. There you go. <laughs> I love it. Have fun. guys are still with me I know the signal is uh, iffy here and there but hopefully it's good enough for you guys to stick in there with me
Well guys, I'm gonna head back to Boca. I haven't seen much in the chat. I'm not sure if you guys were getting any of that. Hopefully you were, but I hope you guys enjoyed this Saturday evening just as much as I did. Stay tuned, set your alerts. I will be back out there doing something here or there. Till next time, have a great weekend. Stay safe guys and stay well. This is a Barefoot Vlogger from Las Olas Boulevard saying, I love you guys, take care.